Now, the exciting reason I actually made this video, um, I originally found, uh, I had a question and uh, the answer to the question was so cool that I thought this video has to be made. Um, now, what happens as an author, for example, or even an industry professional, we have multiple Word documents. Now, you don't want to have to go to each Word document and open up and do a word count and then go to the next one. What happens if you, for example, like I did, have 20 Word documents? Do you really want to waste that kind of time? Good news is you don't, because I did. So I've got three options I want to show you on how to quickly tally word counts of multiple Microsoft Word documents. Now, the first option it's not really an option because it's obviously the manual way, opening up each document, going to the review, going to the word count and actually counting and adding up all the documents. It's accurate, but it's horrible, obviously. Option two is actually really exciting, although it's not, I think, 100% accurate. So option two is going to be using Microsoft Windows own Explorer menu options to add an extra column. So I know it sounds a little bit complicated. I want you to first open up your Explorer window containing all the Word documents. Now, at the top of the files, you're going to notice the column names. Column names are things like name, things like date modified or date created or file type or size and things like that. Now, I want you to right click on that up or that that uh, that bar containing all the column names and there's a very good chance if you right click on it what you will see is a word count option in other words selecting word count will then add a word count column that will sum up the words contained inside each document theoretically not to worry if you don't see it when you right click what you will see is an option saying more i want you to click on the more option and you're going to notice microsoft kindly gives you a whole bunch of column 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 titles, I want you to scroll down to where you're going to find word count, ticket, go OK, and you should see the same result. Essentially, your window uh, open should now have a new column uh, handily giving you the word count that you need. Now, as I mentioned at the start, I don't think it was super accurate. It was uh, approximate, but I don't think it included the footnote, endnote option we spoke about. So if the exact number doesn't matter to you, what I've just shown you is definitely going to help. But for those of you who are wondering how can I get an exact number, this next option is exactly what you need. Now, option three is merging all the documents together into a single document. And no, it's not as scary as you think it might be. Um, that's exactly why I was avoiding an option like this up until I saw how easy it actually is. So, step one, open up the first document. Now, you have multiple documents. It doesn't matter which one technically you open. It might be chapter one. Uh, open up one document, but know which option, uh, sorry, know which document it is that you're opening. Now, what I want you to do is to go to the insert ribbon menu option. So that menu bar we spoke about at the top of Microsoft Word. Go to the insert option. You're going to see something saying object. Now, I don't want you to click on the object menu uh, option itself. I want you to click on the drop down next to it. And if you select the drop down, you're going to see text from file. Click on that. What you're going to see is a menu option uh, prompting you to select the files that you want to insert into this document. Guys, it's obvious. Select, uh, navigate to first, find all those documents, select them, insert them, excluding guys. Don't forget, exclude the one that you opened up originally. Otherwise, you're going to have a bit of a wonky count um, and select open. And what you there, uh, what you have there, guys, is now a single document with all those files combined inside. Which means if you go, if you go review word count, you're going to have a very good idea of the combined word count. Obviously, make sure the footnote, endnote uh, options are selected. Otherwise, a number you get might not be 100% accurate, and that's going to be the ideal number for you to give. For example, your editor. Uh, or the typesetter or anyone else that you might be chatting with regarding how far you are with your book. Now, I know it's geeky. I thought it was really cool. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please let me know. It means a lot. Uh, I don't want to record these videos uh, all on my own. So any feedback you can give me is going to be amazing. I'd really appreciate it. My name's Dave. I'm from my ebook and I hope this video helped.